Hi folks, welcome to the second zigzag video. Very similar to the first, but the first video, we did a 30% width of cut. This one, we're going to do an 80% width of cut. And the goal here is more so the focus on maximizing material removal rate, but really maximizing the spindle horsepower we've got in this machine in tandem with the limitation we've got on RPM. So you're going to see the first cut we take here, if you look at the Excel file, it's the same recipe as the first cut and the 30%, except instead of a 75 thou radial or width of cut, we're doing a 200 thou or 0.2 inch. And that means the material removal rate of 0.37 is almost as much as what would have been the last cut. We didn't even get there. So completely different uh, approach to machining and tooling. And as we talked about in the main speeds and feeds video, the, the, there's nothing wrong with this. It's the risk factor that you can't get the chip evacuated out. It's one reason why I like my Trico system is you can increase that air pressure and instead of a weak flood system that just kind of kind of sloshes some liquid around there and hopes that it facilitates a river for those chips to flow out, this thing has a really high PSI directed air blast that blows those chips out of there. The risk is that you budge, this, you budge that line a quarter of an inch and the air is just totally going by the cutter and onto the base or some other part of the workpiece. It doesn't do you any good. So with that, let's dive in. Uh, I'll check my coolant lines after I just said that. And we will dial in 3,056 RPMs. I've got my 0.2 width of cut, 0.2 depth of cut. Say iPro on, spindle forward, coolant. G01 X negative point two five F nine point two. Take a look at that chip, folks, and you should already be saying, hey, John, you got a problem here. If some of it's straw colored, a lot of it has a lot of deep blue to it. Same recipe, increasing the RPM to 3,500. In order to maintain the same chip load, we have to go at 10.5 inches a minute. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it right there. And here's why, two reasons. We saw that spark at the end. I'll have to ask Carl what that is. You can see in the zoom in, that's our 100 millimeter lens, that the chips are getting recut. This is just not, I'm gonna call it not a good recipe. And this is exactly why cutting 80% is risky and it can degrade tool life. If you need to take this kind of cut, we need to step to a different type or size of tool, larger diameter tool, bigger, um, which is exactly the answer, sorry. By increasing the diameter of the tool, you're gonna lower the RPM and you're gonna find a better fit for this tool. So we'll make that another video with the goal because we've got horsepower left. Let's figure out how to use that power. But don't, um, I really wanted to go through the zigzag process. And you know what, we did a series uh, six months ago where we actually kind of did, did the zigzag on our own and didn't even realize that's what it was, where we walked through cutting 4140 and really looking at the different chip that it makes as you change the parameters. So I would definitely recommend walk, um, looking at that one, but I really think by now, uh, from the videos and from the Excel file, you guys will understand this works for aluminum, it works for plastic, it works for anything with any cutter. Use that methodology, take some notes, pay attention. It takes a few minutes, but I tell you, you can do it pretty darn quick, um, at least to get you in the right zone, the right ballpark. I sent a draft of this video to Carl and he responded back. That was not a spark. Really interesting. It was a chip or small fragment of material getting you know, thrown off like normal, except it was so hot, it was white hot, and it looks like a spark. And sure enough, between the first cut and the second cut, the, there was much more blue in the chip. And if you remember back to the 30% uh, width of cut 
video where we talk about diagnosing problems, sure enough, RPM's too high. So let's retry this once more, but let's back down to 1800 RPMs. So we only got to cut two. 3500 RPMs, seven and a half tenths, or just you know, under, well under a thou per tooth, and we had pro those problems. So I talked to Carl, and he reprimanded me, appropriately so, for not listening to uh, my own uh, knowledge now, which is that your RPMs are too fast if those chips are blue. So we've got a new set of zigzags down here where we're going to start at 1,800 inches a minute. And we're, I know we would be okay, so we're going to start at a 1,000 per tooth. So that's 7.2 inches a minute. Now here's the cool thing that I think will be fun. We can go ahead and figure out what we need to get to to match the 30% rockin' recipe that we just ended with. If you recall, 3,500 RPMs with a 3,000 per tooth chip load was 42 inches a minute. That was when we were only stepping over 75 thou, or about 30%. Same 0.2 inch depth of cut. We were getting a 0.68 material removal rate. So with this bigger step over, the 0.2 and 0.2, we need to run at 2,800 RPMs, 1.5 thou per tooth chip load, and 17 inches a minute. So in some respects, we could just kind of jump ahead to this, because if this isn't a perfectly good cut, then I'm not even going to bother with it, because we'll just go to the 30% for the same removal material removal rate, which is a safer cut anyway. So let's try a couple of these, and then we're going to, I think, jump ahead. Okay, now this is really interesting. If you take a look, these are the first recipe cuts here, which was 1800 RPMs at 7.2 inches a minute. Bumping up 500 RPMs to 2300 and going 9.2, completely different chip, folks. It's amazing. It's a bigger chip, uh, which is interesting because it's the same chip load per tooth. Um, but I, I'll just tell you, it's a bigger chip. Um, or you know what, it's, it's definitely got some color to it, which is from heat, which is that RPMs. Remember, this is the same recipe that we had huge amounts of blue at 3,500. But even going from 18 to 2,300, you see some color going into it. Um, and maybe it's that color that makes it appear to be a bigger chip. In fact, let's pull one over here. Yeah, it must be, I must be wrong. It's, maybe it is the same size. Um, well, I don't know. You'd be the judge. Sure looks, uh, the one on the right from the second cut sure looks bigger. So now we're going to do something that's really stupid that you should not do at home, which is we're going to jump right to this last cut. It might even break the tool. But again, what I'm trying to prove here is that the 30% recipe is better, meaning the same material removal rate with a better cut recipe because you've got lower risk to that cut is going to be better than what we're about to try, which is 2,800 RPMs at a thou and a half chip per tooth, which is 17 inches a minute. And let's uh, see what happens. Hey, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought. Here you can see the chips. Um, and it's funny, it's almost like one out of every four or five or so have a lot of blue in them, which is not good. But the rest of them have that straw color that actually isn't, uh, isn't a bad color at all to have coming out. Again, too dark, too brown means too much heat, but that actually really wasn't as bad as I thought. However, this cut is still a lot more risky than that cut that we ended with on a 30% width of cut. Also, totally different chip. You can see the two here from our cut number two uh, in our Excel sheet, which was 2300 at 9.2. Totally different. This has got a very bright finish, and it's a smaller chip. So here's my sort of thought and takeaway. We're going to wrap this video up, but 
I'll get with Carl. I feel like there's probably an in-between. You know, 30% width of cut, we ended at 42 inches a minute and probably had room to keep going at a 3 thou per tooth. Here, this isn't as bad as I thought. I don't want to run at 80%, but maybe run it at, try a 45% or 55% width of cut and really try to figure out a max MRR for this tool. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Otherwise, take care, folks. See you soon.